I look like a troll doll. <laughs> few different ways to do heatless curls because I've been experimenting it for a few months now. There's water on my desk. I am brave if you ask me. As you can see, my hair is looking pretty straight and I have lots of layers. So for this heatless curl method that I'm about to do, you're going to need your classic heatless curler. I forget what it's called. You're only gonna need one of these. You're also gonna need two bobby pins. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie this thing like a circle and you place it on your head like this. I'll show you what to do next. What I do personally is since I have curtain bangs, these things here, is I go in with one of these smaller rollers, section out my hair, just get my bangs out of the way because if I curl them the other way, they tend to fall out because of how short they are. And then I secure it with one of these clips, but you can use a bobby pin if you need to or something else to secure it. Then I go through with this. If you're not using the roller, just do what I did before and place it on top of your head. Then I tie it. So as you can see, we have a little donut circle thing going on there. And then you're gonna wanna get any tangles out of your hair. You're also gonna need this clip and a spray bottle. Spray bottle is optional, clip is also optional, but it helps me keep this weird thing in place. So what you're gonna do is have your bobby pin ready, take out a section of hair. I usually do like right above the ears for my very first section. Brush it out, cause you wanna make sure that you don't get any knots in there if possible. And then make sure it's tight enough so that you can actually see results because if you do it too loose you're not going to be able to see the results okay so then you loop it through then you have that piece then you take a smaller piece out and you connect it up like this and then you curl that over so then you have that piece and you take another smaller section and then curl it over and then get your last piece Curl it over and then keep curling that last piece until there's nothing left. Then you get your bobby pin and you're going to pin your hair in place. Then I take the clip and I put it on the other side just so it's not in the way. And then just repeat on the other side. sometimes I take this piece out so then you have a little spray bottle I'm gonna fill it up with water and this just depends on how much you want your curl to stay in the picture but I just do a little bit because if you do too much your hair might not be dry in the morning then with this these little pieces kind of curl them in like this and then you can just go to bed like this if you want but what helps keep mine to stay is by, by putting this cap on it. That's how you do this Hila style. I'll show you the results in the morning. I do, excited to see the results. Of course you are. Good morning. It's time to take this out. Take out your bobby pins. After you do that, you're gonna take out the little scrunchie and you're just gonna take one end and I pull it through like this. Other end, pull it through, take the roller out, just mess with it a bit, get it in the parting that you like. This is how it looks just right out of the curler. Not really messing with it much. But then what I like to do, go through with my fingers, and brush it out a little bit with my fingers, get this hair oil. Just to Polish it up. Like the dirtier your hair is, the more it holds curls, and the more time goes by of being, being curled, just the easier it's gonna stay. But yeah. There's 
is the first curl. Excuse my face. I'm doing henna freckles right now and I still gotta film a heatless curl. Now for this heatless curl, what you're gonna want is this thing. I still haven't looked up the name for it. You're gonna need the two scrunchies that come with it or just two scrunchies. And then if you have bangs or really short layers in the front, I recommend using a hair roller up top. So there are two ways you can do this. If you are not using the hair roller, what you're gonna wanna do is put it on top and then you're gonna get a claw clip clip it in like this wrap your hair that way since i'm using this what i'm gonna do is section out my bangs the hair roller in clip it and you're gonna put this through the hair roller make it even if you can and then what i like to do is i like to secure one side with a scrunchie like this just because it makes it easier for me this is how I wrap my hair. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab like a front section like this and you're gonna try to wrap it up as high as you possibly can like as close to the roller or claw clip as you can. Make sure it's tightly secured like that and then you're gonna grab a piece back here and then while keeping this one tightly rolled, you're going to wrap this one around like this. And then just repeat all the way down. Now this definitely takes some time getting used to because it was very difficult for me to learn. So don't get mad at yourself if you don't get it right away because it takes practice to get good at anything. Try to keep the roller as close to your head as possible when wrapping. And then once you have nothing else left to grab, you just continue wrapping it down like this. And then after you're done, get your scrunchie and tie it off. And there's that side, repeat it on the other side. And then what I like to do is I like to leave one of these like this, one of the scrunchies, and then loop it through like this and secure it that way. Just spray it. I don't like the feeling of that. Secure it with your silk cap. And if you don't have a silk cap, use a silk pillow. And if you don't have a silk pillow, don't sleep i'm joking so i will show you guys the results in the morning all right it's the next morning so let's take this out this one without a doubt always turns out whenever i do it some of the other ones can mess up easily but this one without a doubt just always always curls and i just take it out like this <laughs> it looks a little crazy but don't worry i'll fix it this is, I mean, this is the look of the century, if you ask me. Obviously, you don't want to keep it like this. Separate them. I promise it'll look good. This is it not brushed out. Just like this. Very tight curls. However, I don't like them like this. I like looser waves. That's just more me. So you can use your fingers to detangle them. So now this is what this looks like. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to brush them out. Cause I like more of a blowout look with curls. Now this isn't gonna look like a blowout, but I like the looser curls on my hair because it makes my hair look longer and I just like more of a messy kind of look in my hair. So now this is what it looks like. And it's pretty puffy, but what I do to smooth out the puffiness is I get this hair oil, which is like this argan oil thing, which I do recommend if you're gonna get any hair oil and you have the money, get Olaplex. I'm pretty sure it's number seven, whichever Olaplex the oil is, because I know that one's the best, but I'm waiting until this one runs out before I get that one. And this is how the brushed out and oil looks with it very voluminous yeah 
Moving on to the next hair curl. Another day, another heatless curl. Oh, I've got the henna freckles again. Let me show you what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna need your classic heatless curl, a scrunchie, and two bobby pins. If you don't have a roller to keep your heatless curler in place, you'll use a claw clip. So first, I'm gonna put my bangs up. This is very similar to the first heatless curl I showed you, but there's a little bit of a twist. What you can do is you can either buy a jumbo one of these, or you can flip it over like this, making it thicker. Put it through your roller. This will be difficult if you're using a small Velcro roller. But you put it through and then you tie it back. as if it were a donut. And then you'll just repeat what you did with the first skinny donut with the thicker one. Now this one is going to be a lot more difficult, so be patient with it, especially if you have layers like I do. You're gonna wanna really be careful with the thicker one. So just wrap it like so. I look like a super villain. Spray water on it. And then of course, put the bonnet over or just sleep on it. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's the morning. As I was getting ready, some of the hair fell out. So let's see what it looks like. There's that first section. Here's the second section. Let's fix this up. I wish I had a wide tooth comb because it would be good for detangling heatless curls. But instead I got my good old trusty dusty hands. But they're not dusty. I don't have dusty hands. And then my hair oil. So here's the final result. This is pretty operable for like butterfly or wolf cuts. So what you're gonna need for this method is the satin flexi rollers. I'm using six, and this comb, and then since I have my curtain bangs, I have this. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do if you don't use the roller. Is get a comb to split your hair, or you can use your fingers if you need to, because it doesn't need to be perfect. What I do is my ears I go from the top of my head and section it out to my ears so the section looks something like this and then do that to the other side and I'm just gonna use a claw clip to put my other hair back just because it makes it easier but what you're gonna want to do get all of your hair up this is really hard with my bangs <laughs> you're gonna grab two of your rollers put them up in here Try to keep it centered. I'm not doing it very well. I look like a troll doll when you just roll it like this. And then you turn it in like this so it'll look a little funky. Since I'm using a roller, I'll show you what I do. I'm still going to use this section just a little differently. Section out the bangs the bangs in the roller and you're just gonna basically do the same thing that i explained earlier just with the hair roller in your head get your two rollers and just roll them and then make sure to secure it and then what you're gonna do get two different sections just part your hair like this it doesn't have to be perfect get one section Pull it up like this. Sometimes if your hair is damaged like mine, little pieces like to fall out. Don't worry, we'll deal with those pieces in due time. But what you're gonna do with that section is just basically the same thing that we did up top. Just gonna roll it like this. And then with the little pieces, if they come out, just put them, put them in later. <laughs> oh, this is a struggle and then secure it. And then just do the same on the other side. This is what the end result should look like. And then of course, put your 
bonnet over it for the night. I'll show you guys the results in the morning. It's time to take out this mess. How to take them out is you just do what you did before, but in reverse and just try to straighten them out and then roll them up. Roll it up. <laughs> oh, that one just fell out. But yeah, this is what it looks like just right off the bat. It looks a little crazy but this one's one of my favorites. Now this one you can brush out, but I'm not going to just because of how loose the waves already are. Now I'm putting in the hair oil. I really like this one. Now on to the final one which is the most complicated. But I think that the results from this one turn out the best. I don't know, I've only done it once before this. Also, it's 2 a.m. right now, and so if I don't make sense, that's why. But I'll try to make sense, okay? What you're gonna need for this one are two bobby pins, the classic heatless curler, all six satin flexi rollers. And if you have curtain bangs or just wanna do this, a hair roller. All right, so start by putting your curtain bangs up if you have them, secure it. Then what you're gonna want to do is have two of your, roller, your flexi rollers ready. Take a section of hair like from the top half like this. So it should look like this. I do this just to try and add the most volume that I can to my hair because I love volume. And then you get your two rollers and that section, and you put it up. So this is kind of a combination of everything we've done so far. And then tie, tie it off. Get your classic heatless curler and put it through the roller. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it like a donut. So that's what it should look like. This heatless style really works if you have layers. So now what we're gonna do is pull your hair in the front like this and just take a section out of the back like so, like this. And then you're gonna look really silly, but get those sections and tie it off with a scrunchie. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to curl your hair in the way that I showed before with the donut, just with all of this other stuff on top, which definitely makes it more difficult <laughs> having that thing in the middle of my donut. Take it piece by piece and keep wrapping it around the donut. I haven't seen anyone use this technique before. I just experimented with all of these different techniques and I tried to combine the parts that I liked best about each of them. And that's how I came to this heatless curl concoction. And then you want to clip it off at the back. I already explained this earlier, so I'm not going too in depth with it. So now it looks like this. So then with your final two pieces, what you're gonna do is take two flexi rollers on one of the sides and you're going to just wrap it upwards like this. And then just do the same thing to the other side. And then there you have it. This is the complete look. And then just spray it. If you can put a silk cap on, it's very difficult to do that with this specific one. If I can do it, you probably can too. I'll show you guys what all this looks like in the morning. This side kind of fell out already. Let's go ahead by taking the donut out first. This one's definitely difficult to take out. So 
since this one kind of fell out, it's not as curly, but it's still curly. Taking out these guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Just, just a perfect little curl right there. Also a perfect curl. Whoa, look at that one. Now for the final thing. Yep, so obviously, gotta fix it. Yeah, this is what it looks like on brush. This is how it looks. This is one of my favorites by far. By far. Well, I just realized I never recorded an outro and you're probably wondering why am I in a hood? Why do I look like a worm? And the reason is because I dyed my hair and that's gonna be the next video that I post so I don't wanna spoil it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you tried out any of the heatless curls and I'll see you guys in the next video with my new hair.